Number four, moving up to three marks here. Expand and simplify this. Well, a bracket multiplying a bracket means everything in this bracket wants to go at multiplying this. So they can each get a turn. So the 2x, that can get to multiply it. So x squared minus 4x plus 1 gets multiplied. And the 3 plus 3, it also wants to multiply it. Plus 1, so it gets to multiply it. Now you're going to have six products to do. Well, they're not very difficult really, are they? You've got 2x cubed minus 8, and that'll be x squared, plus, and that'll be 2x. So that's that one done. Now 3 has a go. It's easier. Because that'll just be 3x squared minus, 3 fours are 12x, plus 3 ones are 3. So that'll be a mark for expanding that line. Now let's just gather them up. Now, only one thing says x cubed, only one thing's just a number. But there's two that say x squared, and there's two that say x. So there's only one thing that said x cubed, so that will do. There's two parts that say x squared, minus 8 plus 3. So that's minus 5 altogether. There's two things that say x. 2x minus 12x, that's minus 10x altogether. And there's only one thing that's got a number in its own. So there you are. Number five then from the 2017 National Five paper, paper one. Here we go, three-dimensional coordinates. You've got a diagram given, a clumsy sketch of it here, which is made up of a cube. Also all the sides are the same, with a square-based pyramid sitting on top of it. It says that the height of the pyramid is half the height of the cube. It gives you the coordinates of one of the corners on the base. And it says, find the coordinates, just write down the coordinates of B and C. Well, B, I'll take three numbers. Now, if A is the point 6, 0, 0, it's because the length of each side is 6. It's 6 that way, it's 6 that way, and it's 6 that way. All the sides are 6. So to start at the origin and go to B, it's on that end face. You don't go along at all. So that would be a zero. You go back along the six, because you're going all the way back, and then you go up all the way to the top of the cube, which is another six. So it's zero, six, six. C. Now, C is directly above the centre of the base. So the way to get to C is go halfway along, go halfway back, and then go all the way up to the top. Well, halfway along would be 3, halfway back would be 3, but all the way to the top would be the height of the cube, which is 6, plus another 3. So, how do you get to C? 3 along, 3 back, and then up 6, and it said the cube was half the height, so 6 plus another 3 is 9. Number six then, well, equation of a line, three marks. This diagram shows two points, A and B, with a line joining them. You have to get the equation of this line in its simplest form. So don't leave anything lying about. Well, since you don't know where it cuts the y-axis, you're going to use that form of y minus b, y minus the y corner of the point, is m, the gradient of the line, x minus a. Well, you've got two points to choose from for your ABs, but to get M, you have to work this one out. So what is the gradient? Y2 minus Y1 over X2 minus X1. Distance up over distance along, but notice in this case that it should be a negative answer. The distance along, but the distance up is actually a distance down the way. When you do Y2 take away Y1, you can expect that to be negative. I've got the points written here. So y2 minus y1 is negative 2 take away 6. x2 minus x1 is 3 take away negative 1. 
You could do it the other way around, just make sure you stick to the same order. y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. You'll get the same answer. So that's negative 8 over 4. Well, that seems okay because that comes to negative 2. Negative 2 means a line should be negative going down and 2 going down steeply in more than 45, and it does. Now just put it in. Pick a point. If we use the point A, negative 1, 6, then it'll be y minus the y coordinate is m, which is negative 2, times x minus the x coordinate. Now just tidy that up. So you've got negative 2x. Now that's a plus 1. So when you multiply it by a negative 2, it's going to end up with a negative 2. And lastly, take this 6 across and add it. So you've got negative 2, but that will be negative 2x. Negative 2 plus 6, which will be plus 4. You can always check that with this other point. If you put 3 in for x, this equation says the y-coordinate should be given by negative 2 times 3, which is negative 6. Adding on 4 takes you to negative 2, and it is negative 2.